Hello everybody, welcome to the first round match between Vlad GR and his Orcs and Washburn and his Chaos. In the booth with me is Dimi and Faimir. Hello. Hello. Here we are. This is going to be looks a rough day to be an Orc. We're, uh, we're streaming from Jimmy's skyscraper, the penthouse, and we've just waited for him to pop downstairs to make a cup of tea. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jimmy. <laughs> oh, no. Well, there, there wasn't full force bringing him the, you know, the morning tea. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Need full force to make it for me. <laughs> oh dear. Maybe I shouldn't have mentioned that dream to anybody. Eh? <laughs> Oof. Oh dear. No. Absolutely sad uh, LOS hits. Yeah, it's this is a weird chaos team, right? It actually, it's actually a really small chaos team. Um, it, it, what he's got with the inducements is he's got a loner there, and another loner, and he's also induced a mercenary minor top, which you can tell because he's got zero SPPs and claw. So he's induced the the minnow, and he's also got two babes. Um, so interesting. That's Not is the Mino with Claw the best? Is it not Borak uh, more or less around the same price? Uh, Borak is, is more expensive. Uh, oh, right, right. He's but like Borak is so good. 230, something like that. So he could he could have gone Borak over the Mino and the Babes. But um, but having Claw is pretty good, isn't it, at the end of the table? I, I, I love the way he looked at this matchup and was like, what I need is more Claw Mighty Blow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yes. hilarious, isn't uh, it? Do you know? I said, fuck it. <laughs> I've induced minos before, but uh, that was like in the, like, uh, what are they called? In Eternal League days where constantly 8,000 TV down on everyone. Yeah. Yeah, I hate those games. Yeah. We we'll have to play them. Yeah. <laughs> He's definitely going to try and bang out this blitzer, isn't he? Doesn't take a rocket scientist to work that out. Yeah. Gets the pow. Doesn't follow. Look at dog. That's the thing, Claw Mighty by itself can be enough sometimes, can't it? I mean, the optimal way to play it is to get 14 armor breaks and 12 removals. That, I mean, that would yeah. be yeah, my, that's a, my advice. Yeah. Optimizing your dice rolls, you know, just do enough uh, dice rolls. No need to roll more dice. Yeah, fair, fair. Hello, Kilo. Interesting, you could have put in guard and hit the claw bomber there if he'd powered that guy, but obviously he didn't. So couldn't. <laughs> Good analysis. <laughs> I mean, the orc team is not that big either, you know? No, uh... true, it isn't. It's not really a great, great orc team. Well, he's Kazda, Kazda Chaosa. Badly hurt, no apple. Nice. But it opened up a lot of space, hasn't he? Like, this is so much space he's given up. And he also just fed the troll to Mighty Blow, which I didn't think was great. And uh, here comes the Cloud Bomber Heat. Mm, interesting push direction. Rerolls it, doesn't care about push directions. It'll just, uh, it'll just make a removal. Doesn't even push him to the right way there. Outrageous. Why why don't you push him here? Was it a misclick? Surely you push him here and then go through there. Surely. I think he's looking to tuck him behind the troll to be honest. Because the troll is the dangerous piece now. But surely he's still just put... oh, I don't know. I don't know. Well I don't like uh, this. No. There is a lot of orcs that are going to be able to catch up. Yeah, I don't like this. 
Do I not like this? It is only turn three. It is, but it was just so good to get away from them and get forward and... You know, you're quite happy trading one hit for one hit, right, as the Chaos, because your hit is with Claw Mighty or Claw Paw. And uh, their hit is with, like, only Mighty. So trading one hit for one hit is pretty good. They can't hit your best player because he's piling on every time. <laughs> Didn't foul it, wow. Mm. Why did he field the goblin anyway? <laughs> I've got no idea. I've got no idea. It must have been a misclick, surely. It, like... he always just didn't notice he was on the pitch or something. Or what? He's got he's got a mighty he blow blitzer. He's got a mighty blow blitzer and he's fucking He put him on the LOS as well though, so like maybe he was thinking, oh yeah, I'll put a goblin on because when he gets cast. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. See, now he's just super in tight now, isn't he? That's the thing. Now he's where he was, should have been last turn. And now the orcs are going to swarm him next turn. Like the Swarm Lord. Well, there's a the cast. Second cast for the Orcs. Yeah, not bad, not bad. Nine versus nine. <laughs> Funniest thing ever indeed, the Swarm Lord. <laughs> you know, this is this is the mistake that uh, Washburn's made, is he took two babes, which means everything is going to cas. That's yep. true, yeah. So, so his babes are totally used. If he bought an Apo, everything would have got KO'd and it probably would have been better for him. Yeah, yeah. That's why I always take a, an Apo for babes. <laughs> exactly that reason. Wow, the Gobbo. The Gobbo makes a KO. Oh, the humiliation. Incredible. Oh, the humiliation. And base the comes, ball. And now comes the problem, you know, of inducing the Mino. Because the miner is going to be able to only work uh, half of the times because you're never going to blitz, uh, going to blitz with him. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Because you have the bomber, so you know, like you have a massive piece of meat that is going to be useful for the first times, but once you start to move down the path, the miner remains behind. Yeah, this is ropey as fuck, isn't it, from Washburn here? Like, I guess he was in a bad spot. He was in a, he was in a pickle, but this is a, this is very poor. Like, maybe it wasn't bad decision this turn, but he was in a real bad situation, wasn't he? This feels like it's not the best solution. Another one gone. Boy, howdy. This looks very good for the orcs. It does, doesn't it? He's got a wrestle as well, so easy to get down. I don't know why he didn't just pick up on that guy in the first place. Oh, because he's got wrestle, yeah. Yeah, and he's a handoff threat in case like the ball gets based or whatever isn't it? It's not terrible. So the double GFI to hit him. Gets him down because of wrestle. Hmm. Not perfect but not bad either. Doesn't go for the gobble. I would have, I would have made one dodge at a time and see what happened. I'm just gonna foul him. Oh yeah, okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, maybe that's better than doing for the goblin player. I'll do that first and then try the goblin one at a time thing. Oh, bad foul. We'll never have done it. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. PC. Yeah. Thanks. Yes. Yes. Always take the space when he's offered it. Oh wow. A removal for the chaos. Oh yeah, the goblin, oof. What a... <laughs> what a loss. <laughs> egg, massive egg with the shift. <laughs> Only a plim plum push. Yeah. 
Yeah, this minnow is really hard pressed to blitz, isn't he? Exactly. He's been so lucky that he was uh, be able to move. Yep. Now, can the orcs do something here? Maybe can we shear chain guys? No. We can shear cash though. Holy moly! Holy moly! Yeah, he can still no. He can't. No, no. Okay, I think he could have done a better play to here. But oh, wow, he goes for the scatter. Ballsy. Neither of these guys are afraid to do a cheeky one, or are they? Doesn't activate the troll. First turn, blockless Lorna block. Glorious. Artem is spinning in his grave there. Yes. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Whoopsie! <laughs> Well, the other troll gra <laughs> grabbed the ball. <laughs> hmm. Just uphill him, mate. No problem. Uh oh, maybe a problem. At least it doesn't get surfed. And the counter score is, is not on in, in any way. Sure, it was worth relying on the troll to punch this uh, wrestler. I feel like the blitz should have definitely come on the wrestler. Personally. Yes. So the wrestler can bang him down. Can anyone else score? Oh, there you go. Blockless again, starting with a. Well, there's not much he can do right now. Yeah. That's the best time to say it, though. That's the best time to point it out. That's the ultimate art moment when, when nobody on the team has block. <laughs> That's when you say, a blockless block! <laughs> yeah, he had no chance to score anyway, to be fair. But I'd have been worried about this guy then, I guess. So I guess his vanity pass with a strength 5 uh, black orc. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's taking too many removals to foul the... Uh, the Pommer or the, uh, the guy, and he's got no players left to foul with anyway. Oh, okay, he's putting him in there to get a hit. A mighty blow hit. It really lacks a mighty blow, doesn't it, this uh, this orc team? Well, I'd say really, there's three. One's benched. <laughs> yes, but I mean, it's not like they he's didn't need the match. On him though, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah, he's he been absolutely him. banking. And the goblin comes back. <laughs> Ooh, but both chaos do. Yeah. So the chaos are on. Can't count them. Ten. And the orcs are on nine. Unbelievable, Jeff. So the chaos have banged on the orcs overall. Two, two chaos out and four orcs out. Huge. Huge fail with his strength four blitzer, wasn't it? Yeah, but there's an LOS for the orcs and the chaos didn't score, so he's gonna get three mighty blow hits on AV8, and he. I think I'd still, I wouldn't mind being the chaos here, you know. I, I wouldn't mind it. Like one of the one of the orc players is a goblin. Mm, yes, I'll be. Yeah. <laughs> used mm. to. He's ended up doing the Space Cadet, right? Because he got both of his back and he got one out of his three. So, like, he got one out of five KO rolls went his way. Um, the Orc coach, Vlad, he got literally one out of five KO rolls went his way. Rather unlucky. But not that unlucky, right? Oh, no. He'd still be a bit cheesed off. Yeah. Of course! Of course! <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if there was any... Oh, uh... <laughs> oh, he's got Mr. Fro. Yeah. Look, look how fast he is. 
He's 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 fast as fuck, isn't he? He's like rapid. Move six armor seven. What a player. Here we go. Here we go. Ten nine v nine is it? Or... Yeah, nine v nine. And then uh, we got two more. <laughs> oh, stays on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah, I just didn't want to say it because I it, I thought it it would be embarrassing with me being so old. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> Did I miss anything? Uh, no, no. Uh, really. Cast goat. A mild banging on your voice. Yeah. There's just a lot of dice, isn't it, with the claws? Like, the claws can do things, and the, the, the strength 4 Raj 5 can do things, so there's like. It's still dicey for the chaos, as much as yeah. they have good They're things. Their claw mighty blow really needs to kick into gear. But... Mm. Problem it's a bit of a Mexican standoff, isn't it? There's no one's really wanting to face up. Oh, that's a... um... Quite weird that he stayed central. Uh, the way the, the troll going stupid, I quite like just not trying to move this turn. No, just... I meant the chaos guy. Like, chaos, he just, yeah. like he just stayed completely. Like did the the pom blitz and stayed where he was. Yeah, because like. he he's got to win pretty much right in normal time. Because if it goes to overtime, that strength four blitz it can come back and. Like so... you think you might want to put a bit more pressure on. But... Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, what is it, like 230 G like S like, like a bank or whatever? I don't even know how much a mercenary miner with claw costs. I think it's 230k, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I told you, I didn't like it. 230k <laughs> of pure brilliance, that, that, <laughs> that turn there. Yeah. Spunk the reroll into what? Meanwhile, Borak, you know, has block, has more armor, works every time. Mm. five, yeah. And yeah. DP, more importantly. Yeah, I, I do like, I do like Borak, to be honest. I wouldn't that say that beast. DP is important, but... <laughs> no. Wait, like, if, if you're gonna get a Mino, like, uh, I guess, like, you, I know you hate him, but I, like, I'd get Grashnak, mate. He's got no, uh... Fury, whatever it is. Exactly, uh, and it has a strength six. Yeah, Blitz. Yeah, I think Grashnak's. But I know, like, you can't get Claw on Grashnak. But he has Mighty Blow, and he moves wherever you want him to. So yes. it's like, I, I am a bit of a fan of Grashnak. I know Jimmy hates him, but no, I don't hate him. I just think Borak's better, so I never take him like ever. Yeah, which is fair. Yeah, even even if Borak's only ten percent better or even like one percent better, I'm still never going to take Grashnak <laughs> because yeah. I think Borak's one percent better. So. I I do love Grashnak though. Frenzy mm. and the match strength is really good. Older Cruz Cruz used to take Grashnak a bit, but it, that was some like Chaos and Nerd or something. Yeah, yes, Chaos uh, needs strength more than, than Chaos. Than it, yeah. Oh, troll, regen. Troll gone. Yep, huge and a blitz. That, that troll regen like my ghouls. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you always feel the re rolls for ghouls, don't you? So yeah. Unlucky. Zombies always regen. Ghouls just never regen. Mm. I wonder why. <laughs> Fucking diced. <clears throat> I can't. I, I'm. I want to keep a count on like how far this mino moves in this whole second half. <laughs> <laughs> So far, I think it's made two blocks and like moved twice. It has basically done nothing. What in the whole game? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah one of them was a one D blockless block as well, wasn't it? Jeebus. Jeebus. Oof. So the orcs quite cleverly deciding to move away from the claw. <laughs> yeah. Yes, quietly. Uh, Although he's freeing them up a bit, which is problematic. Yeah, because warriors are fast. And agile. Yes. 
and sexy. Well, hey. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh man. <laughs> I love how the chaos team looks. It's amazing. Yeah, they are pretty. They are pretty cool. I mean, obviously not as cool as the Swarm Lord, but you know. Yeah, well, what is? Yeah. I know exactly what is. Oh yeah. He caused the oh, KO. God. The miner caused the KO. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. oh no, he's still in the same square he started in. <laughs> holding the center, holding the center. As uh, I mean, yeah, says, I uh, mean, the good news is he's in the center of the pitch, like, <laughs> and he's not completely irrelevant. But <laughs> the bad news is. He's uh, very expensive and has a Oh, of... that was a uh, Rowdy Apple. Uh, yeah, yeah he's, he's, he's back is against the wall now. He knows it as well, doesn't he? So, yeah, good Apple. Yeah. You want to win it in normal time. There's no way you want this in overtime. No. No, it's funny. It switched from the Chaos uh, not really wanting overtime so much because the Orcs can get the players back to the Orcs just getting banged out and desperate to try and score now. So, the lesson yeah. here is the team that gets the ball gets banged. Yeah. Funnily enough, the Mino is actually doing some work in that square. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So... he's actually doing all right. He's he's found himself. A, a... He's holding the center, so that's yeah. a good thing. But is he just completely ignoring the loner? He is. Yeah. Oh, the goblin. Okay. There we yeah. go. Oh. You what, Jim? Yeah, I'm a little bit tired. I was maybe up till seven a.m. playing farming simulator with potatoes. And then they just deleted it anyway. Yeah. Because Faulty um, made a lot of invisible walls. Invisible walls, mm. yeah. So, that sounds horrific. Yeah. Sounds like something Fall Force would do, doesn't it? <laughs> yeah, by the holy shit. <laughs> How many blitzers are left on the pitch? Oh, there's one on the floor there, okay. Yeah. Yeah, three blitzers, I think, on the pitch. Yeah. Yeah. This is the way, right? This is the way. Block here, and uh, and then diagonally potato. Oh, I love a diagonal potato. Yeah. Four. 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 El Clasico diagonal potato. Yeah. Oh, he's pushing the wrong square. Ooh, that wasn't the move. He's gonna oh, throw the pass. Isn't he? He's gonna throw the pass. He's a mad lad. Nah, mm. no. He has extra movement in there, Mister Throw. Oh. No, oh, yeah, he is. He is going to throw. He, he's doing the pass. <laughs> he's not passing. Wait, he's just no, going to go he's back not passing. There. Uh, I mean, that's just a three plus for a two D. The problem <laughs> is, the problem is, this fucker, isn't it? It's like even if you're in a cage, this bastard just comes in and hits you anyway if he wants. Oh, the middle I mean, moves. I'd, 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 like, I'd like to pretend that I'm at least caging, you know? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, fair enough. At least pretend that you're. Uh... At least you pretend, but no, he, he gets a hit on yeah. two plus. All right, here we go, super goat. Yeah. Oh, well, there you go, killed him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no apo because we uh, apo the KO. Yeah, justice for Mister Thrall. I mean, that was pretty hilarious, right? It that was, was absolutely really hilarious. So, sorry, yeah. I was laughing there, maybe a little uh, bad manners, but it was absolutely hilarious. <laughs> I, I, I think like there's there's few things in Chalice that bring me as much joy as Mr. Throw dying in, <laughs> or, or or failing passes or yeah. being GFI short of the end zone. Like yeah. there's Mr. Throw failing is probably one of the highlights of any Chalice season, um, yeah, that's and it, true. it brings me great joy. Good. No, the best is when the Mr. Throw can score because he's only movement five. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. That's, that's the best. Bad. Okay, now. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh. All right, who's going to... Blitz is going to love it now. Oh, my God. He really wants to do the pass. Oh. 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 oh my god, if the minnow had caught it! <laughs> Could you imagine? I mean, that's... I mean, it's, yeah, it's not great, is it? I mean, he can actually... he can... Uh... Oh, he's got tackle on the bomber as well. Oh, yeah, god. I think he's smashing the bits. Yep. Smash him to bits. 
Yes, Dr. Funk. Yeah, because the human thrower is strictly better. One of the rare occasions where a player is strictly better in Blood Bowl. The human throw is not terrible. I mean, all throwers I hate, but the human throw is not terrible. Yeah, he's fine. 6 3 3 8. Pass your sure hands. Yeah, sure hands is the thing, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'd take Zon throwers if they had sure hands instead of pass, or Pro Elves if they had sure hands instead of pass, or. Wood elves if they had show sure hands instead of pass, or high elves if they had show sure hands instead of pass. Like all of them, I'd take if they had show sure hands. Yeah. Oh, the miner's got him. Yeah. Yeah, the prof isn't terrible. Like you take him anyway because it's only 10k. Or... Not good, is it? He's barely a position. This looks like it could be going into overtime. Yeah, what scoring does. threats? What scoring if... threats does this chaos team like? Is, it, is the super goat still there? Mm. He is there. Uh... Not in range though, is he? Super go is. Oh, wait. Yeah, the chaos. Yeah. He's tagged by a goblin though. He is tagged by a goblin. Yeah, so. Z punch, try for a power, and then 3D blitz him. And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yeah, he might score. Oh, he's at 5, so he doesn't give a shit about him anyway, does he? He'll just blitz himself. Yeah, the only thing is he has to roll the dodge. Oh, wow, he's not even doing that. No, I think, I think that's mental. I think you just blitz, blitz with him, right? He's 3 dice yourself. He's just going to lob it to him, isn't he? Yeah, but like, he could blitz, he could have blitzed through himself. Instead of yeah. having to dodge twice, which he could roll a 1. Three dice is way better than a two. Oh, he put the reroll in. Oh, <gasps> oh, oh my, my god. god! Oh my god! And They're then he rolls a one, deservedly so. He could have saved the blitz and then just blitzed and three dice. He's got a good chance to get a power and just score. Well, good, no good way. punish, good punish, justice, no way. <laughs> justice in Blood Bowl. <laughs> oh, no, he's gonna win the overtime toss down and absolutely murder the whole orc team. <laughs> 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 it's just justice. Oh, he gets the KOs back. Oh, and he only gets one back. What a who's, bloody game this has been. Who's won the toss? The chaos. You were right. Dimmy yeah. was right. And now he's just going to delete the orc team. <laughs> <laughs> but it's amazing, isn't it, that you got this chaos team and like nowhere near as... I mean, there's been a few removals, but not as many as the uh, high elves. No. Eight versus eight. Yeah. They all still have a chance here if they, because the Chaos only has one reroll. Yeah. Yeah, eight aside, but I mean, one side's got oh. Claw Mighty and Claw Palm, so. And actually four, strength four. Actually five, five sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's the pickup, you know, filling the pickup. Uh, <laughs> Mate, it would be like I would almost say it's GG, but he's got wrestle instead of block. Like, what on earth would possess you to take wrestle on that guy? Unless he had like an Agi four two heads goat that died yeah, that was the ball carrier. That's the only logic I can think behind taking. He's not blocked there. the first skill that he got. No, he didn't. He, he rolled Agi twice and then strength, so his fourth skill was the first one he could pick. Like, <laughs> and it was <laughs> he took wrestle. I mean, Edge 5 yeah. Saka is pretty fucking cool to be Cage fair. Diver, clearly. Yeah, I, oh, I have an Edge 5 An Edge 5, 5 ball carry is pretty cool as well, Jim, wouldn't you say? Yeah. I don't know. Like, yeah, it is. It is a goat that can go anywhere it wants, whenever it wants. Like, mm. But if you blow on it, he might fall over. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing he had another ball carrier that died before Chalice. That's my guess. Yeah, I mean, there must be. Yeah, exactly, Nick. That's the thing as well, isn't it? So. All right. Yep. Goblin ball sack. Let's see. Let's all have a look at the goblin ball sack. Red dice. Many chances of work. Oh, coward! Lame. Oh, he gets to hit the claw bomber, that's probably better. I'll let him off. I'll let him off hitting the claw bomber. 
Who's been gobbling ball sacks? <laughs> um. <laughs> Is that, I just thought you were announcing your uh, browser history. <laughs> hey. No, I just, I, I mean, I try to be funny. Oh. Right. With, uh, me, no? you know, what yeah. could go wrong? Unfortunately for me, it was about as funny as the fucking swarm world. Wait, that was the funniest thing ever, Jim. Come on. Yes, I mean, it's absolutely incredible. There's, there's no doubt about that in anyone's mind. How funny that is. Oh, Goblin's still alive! Is this, this is the Russian off, isn't it? It's, it's I think so. Enough. Yeah, the old goblin was named after. It's a ridiculous. Ooh! <laughs> Moo! 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 Uh, I mean, yes, because well, you always sack him if you have to, right? So we'll definitely keep him going in. Wow, this is a huge turn for the Orcs, isn't it? Rerolling that GFI was a bit terrible. I wonder if that under what that GFI did. Brollies. Brolly. That's English for umbrella. <laughs> you know, the Wally with the Brolly. Uh, Steve. I was good. Steve McFadden? <laughs> Not Steve McFadden. <laughs> Not Steve McFadden, no. Steve McLaren. Steve McLaren, that's <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm oh, thinking of Brian McFadden, right? Yeah. So. Who's Steve McFadden? Is he in Westlife? No, I think it's Brian McFadden that's in mm. Westlife. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh, why are you doing the GFIs, man? Come on. Why, why this... People doing cool I don't know. I mean, I have sneezed before and accidentally done a GFI. <laughs> oh, Phil Mitchell is Steve McFadden. Thank you. Is that Phil Mitchell? Yeah. What an actor. Yeah. I mean, crack! Hey? <laughs> <laughs> when he goes, I need crack! <laughs> Does he? <laughs> yeah. I, I obviously w stopped watching these said there's prematurely. Like, when did that happen? I don't know. I don't know. Someone linked it in. in someone linked it in the Discord the other day. We can Steve McFadden just needed. Phil Mitchell needed crack. Oh wow. I know he was an alcoholic. I never knew he was a, a crackhead. Yeah, yeah. I need. I need crack. It's brilliant. I'll, I'll, I'll link it for you because I can't play it on the, on the stream, of course. Oh, what, because it's EastEnders? Yeah. I mean, that is criminal, to there be fair. Go. Yeah, it is. There you go, that's him just like going, I need, I need crack! <laughs> I think now the... Going back to the game... Bo Bears, he's rolled a one! He hates, he hates blitzing. Does wash burn. Um, and there you go, he gets his two. Dodge through uphill, I mean, yeah, hi, because otherwise you just lose. And obviously the uphill's better because Wrestle, well, I mean, he's got bot, but Wrestle. Wrestle's better because he gets himself down. So. His, his acting skills just kind of remind me of uh, Amber Heard, to be fair, though. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if his dog had just stepped on a bee. <laughs> I wonder if he just shot in, in Grant's bed. <laughs> <laughs> It looks like it, the way he's dressed. Yeah. <laughs> right, well, there you go. That was a match. Uh, it was pretty crazy, wasn't it, actually? Lots of things happened. Lots of blocks, lots of cars. Um, yes, it was um, yeah. very bashy. 12 armor breaks, the same as the previous uh, game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's both break armor 12 times and 9 removals and 8 removals. But, I mean, there was there was piling on involved. But, yeah, cra again, crazy amount of death and destruction. Unbelievable. Um... So there you go. Thank you very much, Dimmy and Fimey. Glorious of you both to come in. Thank you so much. Always a pleasure. It's all right, mate. Uh, just make sure you send that check over. Yep, no problem, Dimmy. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.